well students uh, during the last lecture uh, we learned about voltage and feedback amplifier in detail we derived the expression for the closed loop voltage gain input impedance output impedance and also we discussed about the bandwidth of the voltage and feedback amplifier in detail after understanding this let us now consider some more examples of the operation amplifier they are making use of the operation amplifier as a dc amplifier ac amplifier summing amplifier scaling circuit averaging circuit the meaning of dc amplifier is very simple Ampli when when the input is dc voltage the same dc is amplified at the output of the amplifier so that's what is called dc amplifier similarly if the input applied is a ac signal and if it is amplified either making use of inverting configuration or non inverting configuration such amplifier is called ac amplifier now we can also perform the operation of addition that is summing if we have more number of inputs v1 v2 v3 or va vb vc we can configure the circuit appropriately both in inverting and non inverting configurations to add two or more number of input voltages that is what is called uh, summing amplifier or summer in simple words we can also perform the operation of scaling what is scaling operation if we have a input v of t if you apply this one to an amplifier circuitry and if the output is given by v not of t is equal to a multiplied by input v of t this is called scaling operation that is input signal v of t is multiplied by a scalar quantity a a scalar quantity a so this is what is called the scaling operation and also we can perform the averaging so what is averaging operation if you have two or more number of inputs like va vb vc three inputs are there let us say then we can obtain the average of these three inputs that is the output output can be made equal to sum of the three inputs divided by 3 this is what is called averaging so today's class we are going to learn about uh, dc amplifier ac amplifier summing and scaling towards the end if the time permits we will be discussing about the averaging amplifier also okay so therefore let us consider the circuitry of dc amplifier now so this dc amplifier students basically um, any any operational amplifier any operation amplifier circuitry uh, configured either in inverting or non inverting can amplify both dc as well as ac input signals okay if we apply the dc input the particular type of amplifier is called dc amplifier and if you apply ac input it is called 
AC amplifier. Okay. So the meaning is very simple. The output signal changes in response to the changes in its DC level. That's what is called the, the DC amplifier. And this kind of DC amplifier can be realized in three different ways. They are inverting DC amplifiers, non-inverting DC amplifier, and then differential DC amplifier. Okay. And also, in all these cases, in all these cases, as we have heard of this offset voltage, so as during the first class on this operation amplifier, uh, we learn about this offset voltage. Offset voltage is the voltage which appears at the input even when the input is zero, which is undesirable. This offset voltage is undesirable. Okay. So, therefore, the effect of offset voltage should be nullified or we should make it zero. That is the meaning of nullifying the effect of offset voltage. So, under the heading DC amplifier as well as the AC amplifier, we will be considering inverting, non-inverting and then differential mode of operation. In addition, we will be talking about offset voltage and the method or the procedure to uh, reduce the effect of this offset voltage in all the cases. So, we take up the same um, one by one. Students, uh, look at this uh, DC amplifier. So, this DC amplifier is inverting amplifier with offset null circuitry. Mm, this is the input which is inverting terminal. We are applying the input V in to the inverting terminal and hence this is called inverting amplifier and we know that there is always going to be the problem of offset voltage hence we are uh, in we are indicating this uh, offset null circuitry and some of the operation amplifier contain this feature of uh, nullifying the offset voltage by incorporating offset null circuitry which is shown like this you are finding it a you are finding here a variable resistor of 10 kilo ohms so which is going to control the offset null voltage that means output offset voltage is made zero by appropriately adjusting the position of this uh, uh, resistance okay so you can make out the way it is connected the amount of vbe is controlled through this resistance 10 kilo ohm variable resistance thereby we are going to make this offset voltage equal to external sorry output offset equal to zero so this is the circuitry of inverting amplifier with offset null circuitry so similarly, one more circuitry is there. This is DC amplifier in non-inverting configuration with offset null circuitry. Here. See, this is the input we are applying to the non-inverting terminal pin number 3 of the operation amplifier. And then this is the variable resistance connected. That means to, this, this is actually internal. This is actually internal to the operation amplifier. In case, in case if some of the operation amplifier does not contain this feature of offset null circuitry within the IC, then we need to provide it externally that is called uh, offset null circuitry external to the operation amplifier outside the operation amplifier we are going to make connection and one more is there here this is 
offset minimizing resistor this r suffix om o stands for offset m stands for minimizing so this is offset offset minimizing resistance this is actually uh, the parallel combination of r1 and rf so that's what is the value so what is the meaning of offset minimizing voltage this offset minimizing voltage is going to reduce the effect of bias voltages on the external offset voltage it's not going to nullify but it's going to reduce the effect of bias voltages on the offset voltage but to reduce exactly to zero the offset external offset voltage there is a necessity of offset null circuitry if it is provided within the circuitry of the operation amplifier else it has to be uh, provided externally okay so this is about the external amplifier with offset null circuitry in case of some high precision in case of some high precision uh, uh, operation amplifiers like uh, 741 uh, their offset uh, is going to be uh, very uh, smaller and then uh, we can adjust that offset null voltage one using making use of one of the pins okay so the next circuitry is this is dc operation amplifier in differential mode configuration in differential mode configuration okay so here we are finding two inputs input one input two input one is applied to the inverting terminal input two is applied to the non-inverting terminal the output is going to be difference between the two inputs v1 and v2 and hence the name differential amplifier the difference between the voltage as at the two terminals input inverting terminal and non-inverting terminal the difference of voltage will be amplified and hence the name differential amplifier and here also we are finding a variable resistor to to nullify the effect of offset voltage that's why this arrangement is called differential amplifier with offset null circuitry so here this circuitry of op, this this this, op, this amplifier circuitry is going to amplify the input dc voltages and hence it is called dc amplifier okay so till this point we discussed about three types of dc amplifiers one in case of inverting configuration other one non inverting configuration number 3 is differential configuration right in all the cases uh, we observed what is called offset null circuitry okay so next is the same uh, dc amplifier and again with the inverting configuration with the external offset voltage compensation when the operational amplifier when the given operational amplifier does not have the feature of uh, does not have the internal feature of uh, nullifying the um, output offset voltage then it is uh, necessary to have an external offset voltage compensatory circuit so that is what is shown here okay so this is the case of what is called uh, the inverting configuration because uh, the input v in is applied to the inverting terminal inverting terminal that is pin number two and we are providing here external offset voltage compensation and hence this is the case of dc amplifier in inverting amplifier configuration with external offset compensation okay so here this uh, uh, external offset com uh, compensation circuitry consists of uh, a variable resistor 
to which on one side we apply the positive voltage that is plus VCC to the other side we apply minus VWE and therefore the, depending upon the position of this point the voltage will appear at this point and that will that will make the output offset voltage to become zero so this is the case of providing the uh, offset voltage compensation externally next circuitry is uh, the similar circuitry of dc amplifier in non non inverting configuration with external offset voltage compensation so this portion of the circuitry constitutes um, what is called the external offset voltage compensation okay so um, the input v1 or the general v is applied to the non inverting terminal so this amplifier is called non inverting amplifier and to compensate for the output offset voltage or to reduce the offset voltage to zero what we do is we are going to provide the additional circuitry which has a variable resistor on one side of which we connect positive voltage plus vcc and to the other side we will we connect minus vwe and then we have this voltage dividing net, dividing network and that is connected to the inverting terminal so this will take care of adjusting the output offset voltage to zero so by varying the position of this uh, variable resistor or the varying or uh, by maintaining the proper division of resistance on either side of this pointer we can reduce the effect of offset voltage to zero and this is the expression for the output voltage in case of uh, non-inverting configuration the next diagram is again a dc amplifier with the configuration differential amplifier configuration here we are applying two inputs vx and vy or v1 and v2 let's say both are dc so it is called a dc amplifier the at the output we find the amplification of difference of the two voltages so this is the v1 minus v2 multiplied by rf into r1 the amplification factor with minus sign here so therefore whenever we find the offset voltage non zero this kind of external circuitry is provided in this differential configuration of dc amplifier to reduce the effect of external offset voltage to zero volts okay so on one side of the variable resistance we connect plus vcc to the other side we connect minus vwe and then we are going to adjust the position of this pointer properly on the variable resistance such that the offset voltage is made equal to zero okay and the next is ac amplifiers in case of ac amplifiers also uh, we come across similar kind of uh, uh, three circuitries in case of ac amplifier in case of ac amplifier the input is the input is ac signal the input is ac signal and hence the circuitry is called uh, ac amplifier so this operational amplifiers they will respond to dc signal as well as they respond to ac also so the same circuitry will behave like dc amplifier as well as ac amplifier that depends upon whether input is dc or the input is ac okay so in case of ac amplifier we come across a component called capacitor 
that capacitor in this uh, circuitry or in the system is called coupling capacitor. So this is used to connect uh, one stage to another stage. In between two stages, stage one and stage two, we are going to use what is called a coupling capacitor C suffix I. That coupling capacitor C suffix I is calculated using this equation. This equation is F suffix L is equal to 1 over 2 pi C suffix I multiplied by R suffix I F plus R naught. We will see what exactly these uh, F suffix L C I R suffix I F and R naught mean in this equation. F suffix L is the low frequency cutoff or the lower end of the bandwidth. Students, we have learned that you consider any electronic circuitry, we can always plot its frequency response. Means, what is the output of the circuitry? for the input with varying frequency from 0 hertz to some number, maximum number. It, it can go up to infinity also. So we need to, we are not, we are going to plot the response like this. Then we are going to observe what is the lowest frequency for which the circuit performs better and what is the highest frequency for which circuit is going to perform better. The difference we take to calculate bandwidth of operation of the particular circuitry. So therefore, we need to mark what is the lowest frequency and what is the higher side frequency in between which the circuitry performs in a better way. That's what is the meaning of F suffix L. So this is the um, lower end of the bandwidth I can say. That's what I have written in this uh, uh, frequency response, so lower end of the bandwidth. Similarly, FH, which is not defined here, but its meaning is uh, upper end of the bandwidth of the circuitry. Okay. C suffix I is the capacitance between the two stages, as I said. This, this, this uh, capacitance are also called coupling capacitance is used to block the DC. This is actually AC amplifier. We are using it to amplify the input AC signal. There may be some DC voltage which may be due to the biasing voltages, biasing circuitry which may appear at the input of the next stage. To reduce its effect, we are going to use this coupling capacitance. Then R suffix IF. It is the AC input resistance of the second stage. In the previous discussions for the last 2-3 hours, we have studied about the input impedance of the circuitry with feedback. That is F stands for feedback. That's what is the meaning here. Then R0. R0 is the AC output resistance of the first stage. Output resistance of the first stage. It can also be the source resistance. Source resistance of the first stage means R in. Okay, so this is about the uh, brief introduction to AC amplifier. And this equation, what is appearing here? That is F suffix L is equal to 1 over 2 pi C suffix I bracket R I F plus R naught plus a very important role in the discussion of AC amplifier. And also this formula is very much useful for working out some of the examples. And from this frequency response of the circuitry, we can find out the bandwidth. The bandwidth is equal to F suffix H into F suffix L. This is the bandwidth. Difference between highest frequency to lowest frequency is called the bandwidth. Okay. So next is... This is a simple circuitry of the uh, amplifier, AC amplifier. 
with uh, inverting configuration with inverting configuration you can find here uh, the ci so that is coupling capacitor this is the coupling capacitor okay the rest is uh, mm, similar to uh, the inverting amplifier what we have studied uh, so far so this is the input and which is applied to the inverting terminal so therefore this is called inverting amplifier the input is ac so it is called ac inverting amplifier okay and mm, it is assumed that the uh, operation amplifier consists of uh, mm, uh, output uh, offset voltage null circuitry this is what is shown here a 10 inside the operation amplifier a 10 kilo ohm variable variable resistor is uh, uh, used to uh, to 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 provide a facility to the user to adjust from external pin so that the output offset voltage becomes zero and this output is equal to uh, minus rf by r1 into v in that is the inverting configuration gain is given by minus rf by r1 okay so this is the coupling capacitor this is what uh, uh, i said in the previous slide that uh, uh, c suffix i is the uh, coupling capacitor okay so similar to the same uh, similar to the inverting amplifier uh, in the case of ac amplifiers this circuitry shows uh, the ac amplifier with uh, uh, non inverting configuration non inverting configuration means see this is the non inverting terminal and we are applying the input to the same and hence it is called uh, ac amplifier with non inverting uh, configuration so this c suffix i is the coupling capacitor okay and this is the gain of the non inverting amplifier output is equal to 1 plus rf by r1 into v in so and here also uh, you can find what is called the output offset voltage compensation which is provided inside and also and also uh, one more uh, offset minimizing resistance is also provided externally as i said this is to reduce the effect of uh, the bias voltages producing some offset voltage at the output okay so that effect can be reduced by using this uh, r suffix om resistance offset minimizing resistor this is to reduce the effect of offset voltage due to the biasing voltages whereas this null circuitry is required to reduce the offset voltage appearing at the output okay so this is uh, the example of uh, inverting and then non inverting amplifiers uh, ac amplifiers right so similarly um, we can also consider the example of a differential amplifier with two inputs this is again similar to uh, dc amplifiers if i apply v1 and v2 ac to two different input terminals of the operation amplifier that is inverting terminal and the non inverting terminal it simply becomes a differential amplifier v1 v2 are ac so it, it so it becomes ac amplifier again in the similar fashion we are going to provide uh, the external offset or if uh, the operational amplifier itself has that feature of uh, nullifying the effect of offset voltage that can also be shown okay so this is about the dc amplifiers and ac amplifiers now uh, with a reference to the ac amplifiers what we learned uh, till this point let us just uh, uh, look at one numerical example uh, just i'll go back to the circuitry students you have to remember the circuitry see this is ac amplifier with the inverting configuration now we are going to consider a numerical example based on this only 
So therefore, I am just showing you the circuitry because uh, I'll be going back to the problem statement and then I'll take you to the paint sheet blank one to solve the problem. So therefore, remember the circuitry AC inverting amplifier input is applied to the inverting terminal output is equal to minus RF by R1 into V. This is sufficient. The rest is uh, uh, very easy that we can work out the problem. So in the circuitry, what I shown you people now, that is AC inverting amplifier, uh, the data is given like this. RI is equal to 50 ohms. That is uh, the input uh, resistance. CI is equal to 0.1 microfarad. The CI is the coupling capacitor. R1 is uh, 100 ohm. That is input resistance. RF feedback resistance is 1 kilo ohm. Uh, load resistance is 10 kilo ohm. And supply voltage is uh, plus or minus uh, 15 volts. Uh, the question is to determine the bandwidth of the amplifier. I told you people that is the bandwidth is the uh, range of voltages uh, uh, in which the circuit is going to perform uh, well. Okay. So that is the meaning. And now I will take you people to the paint screen to work out the problem. Okay. So what is given in the numerical uh, example is um, we need to find R1 is given. I think R1 is equal to 100 ohms. It is given. We know that this R suffix IF, we have learned it long back only uh, under the heading inverting amplifiers during the lecture one only. And that R IF is equal to R1, uh, approximately equal to R1. So we have this R1 is equal to 100 ohms. This is one point. And then uh, the source resistance is given here. What is the source resistance? Source resistance is R suffix, okay, R suffix in, you see it is given as 50 ohms. This itself is also equal to R naught, okay. And then we have the formula for F suffix L. I am going to make use of that formula, the F suffix L is equal to 1 over 2 pi, 1 over 2 pi, into C suffix I. What is the value of C suffix I here? C suffix I is 0.1 microfarad. This is also equal to uh, 10 power minus 7 farads. Okay. So I am going to put it here as 10 power minus 7 farad, farads. Then the rest is, uh, uh, what is it? R I F uh, in the bracket we are going to have R I F plus R naught. So R I F is 100 ohms, R naught is 50 ohms. Therefore, this is 100 plus 50. Students, if you use the calculator and simplify, you are going to get this F L as 10 power 6 kilohertz. 10 power 6 kilohertz. This is one data. So what do we want to find actually? We want to find the bandwidth of operation. Remember this. To that, to, to find this one, we need FH and FL. FL, just now we have calculated. FH, we have to find out. This FH is directly connected with actually the gain of the amplifier. That's very important. Okay. So, in this, in this case of inverting amplifier, we know that the gain of the inverting amplifier is given by minus RF divided by R1. Mm, we have in the data RF is equal to 1 kilo ohm or 1000 ohms and uh, R1 is equal to uh, 100 ohms. So therefore, this ratio is minus 10. So therefore, value of AF is equal to uh, minus 10. So now, uh, what is called the higher side of the frequency of operation denoted by f suffix h is given by 
unity gain bandwidth ugb multiplied by another factor k divided by a suffix f ugb is known to all of you unity gain bandwidth k is a factor k is a factor which is defined as ratio of rf divided by r1 plus rf rf is given r1 is also given substitute simplify here what is rf rf is equal to it's given in the formula rf is equal to 1 kilo ohm okay then r1 is 100 ohms and then again rf is equal to 1 kilo ohm if you substitute and simplify you will get the value of k as 0 0.909 is the value of k so now i am going to substitute all these things in this in this formula for fh so here unity gain bandwidth is 10 power 6 this is multiplied by k that k is equal to 0 0.9 0 0.909 0 0.909 correct and then this is divided by af af value is 10 so using the calculator if you simplify you are going to get the answer f suffix h f suffix h is equal to 90.9 kilohertz 90.9 kilohertz so this is the value of fh this is the value of fl what we want now is the answer the final answer or the desired answer is bandwidth so bandwidth is equal to we know that fh minus fl is the bandwidth this is equal to okay so 90.9 kilohertz minus minus what fl mm, fl is what fl is 10 point 6 kilohertz fl is 10.6 kilohertz right this is your fetch this is your fl this difference is what is the difference between the two will give the bandwidth now the difference is 80.3 kilohertz so this is the desired answer the bandwidth of the ac amplifier with inverting configuration and the given data the bandwidth is equal to 80.3 kilohertz okay so next so some more applications as i said you people about at the beginning at the beginning now we have finished our discussion on uh, dc amplifier and then ac amplifier okay so now um, the rest of the applications which i mentioned at the beginning are summing scaling and then averaging amplifier okay so uh, for today i am going to stop at this point i uh, will continue explaining about the summing scaling and then averaging amplifiers that is the other applications of op operation amplifier in the next class okay so i am going to stop at this point